This modern architectural masterpiece is an entertainer's paradise complete with a private yard rooftop deck and boasts awe-inspiring views. Situated high above iconic Sunset Boulevard, anticipation builds as you pass through elegant wrought iron gates and make your way up the secluded driveway. This property has five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 5,000 square feet of living space, and is on a lot that is over 35,000 square feet. This property is listed at $8,998,000. A fun fact about this house is although it was renovated, this was once home to the actress and talk show host Joanne Carson and the famed playwright, actor, screenwriter, and novelist Truman Capote. Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Schatz and welcome to our channel. Today we are in the Brentwood area and we are very excited to show you this tour. But first and foremost, we would love to thank the listing agents, Leon Aronsky and Sasha Zarevsky at Pacific Coast Realty for allowing us to tour their beautiful listing. So let's go check it out. On the facade of this house, you have linear designer sconces, pour in place concrete with artificial grass, lush landscaping all around, and a private driveway with an automatic gate. We will come through one of your front entrances into your courtyard area and you have pour in place concrete with artificial grass and the same lush landscaping you saw in the front of the house. Over to my right you have a fountain and a courtyard patio area back there we will get to a little bit later. You have linear contemporary sconces and a trellis design above with additional lighting. Over here you have a sliding glass door that leads to your dining area and we will come through your 10 foot pivot glass Fleetwood door. Let's close your front door and here we are in your landing area and to my left you have these beautiful quartzite countertops in this original veneer wood stained oak. You can maybe throw your keys here, some books, any plants and they added a mirror here to open up this already open floor plan. Over here down the hall to my left, you have your powder room. And in here we have a wallpaper design. You also have this opulent custom single piece sloped build in marble vanity. You also have a circular mirror that you can push to turn the light on behind it. So it has somewhat of a floating effect. You have two pendant lights with the opaque design and you have this luxury wall mounted water fixture. Come out of your powder room into your hallway and you have an area to display any artwork here. And over to my left, you have your two car garage. So here's that garage shop for you guys. And we'll close that. And you also have these solid wood gray doors all throughout the house with these black and gold handles. And I'd love to point out the lighting in this house. You have all this unique lighting all throughout the house. This is the first time I've seen strip lighting like this before. So it has a really cool effect, really opens up this space. And we'll come in here into your first bedroom. And in here you have an abundance of natural light. You have sliding glass doors, the Fleetwood sliding glass doors right here that lead to your backyard space. You also have these unique pendant lights here. As I mentioned earlier, there are very cool lights all throughout this property. And over here to my right, you have your custom walk-in closet with natural wood and strip lighting. And this is an ensuite. Every bathroom has their own unique tile design on the wall. This is three-dimensional. You also have these same floating mirror effects. You have two vessel sinks with these seamless drain design and you have Briso luxury fixtures and check out how this, how <laughs> this turns onto the side. You also have the same towel in the shower. You have a regular handheld and rainfall polished chrome shower head and you have your freestanding tub with your wall mounted faucet. You also have a floor to ceiling window that looks into your backyard. You saw some privacy with the shrubs. And we'll head out of this bedroom. And in here, we have your laundry room. You have quartz countertops. You have porcelain tile on the floor and the wall. And you have walnut shelves and cabinet space in a stainless steel sink. So let's head back out here. And to my left, you have your mudroom. So you have bench seating with this natural wood right here and additional storage space here. So you can come in from your cars right here on your driveway, maybe throw your bags, your shoes. And across from your mudroom, you have another bedroom. And this bedroom also has ample amount of sunlight and you have these same Fleetwood sliding glass doors that lead to that side area we saw earlier. You have a view of the neighborhood, more recessed lighting, any space to maybe put a desk, a TV or any artwork. And this also is an ensuite. Double closets here and you have porcelain tile on the floor and in your shower, you also have bench seating and a regular and handheld shower head. 
And against this unique tile design on your wall, you have the same floating mirror design with a linear mirror sconce. And these are Corian countertops on your floating vanity. And we saw this wood earlier. It's that beautiful natural stained wood. And you have this interesting little drain design here. You can just push to close it, stops the flow of water. So Mark's giving me a crazy look, but some people appreciate those things. So <laughs> let's head back down this hallway into the remainder of the house. Over here in your main living area, you have additional storage and shelf space past your frosted glass, and you have strip lighting as well. You have built-in shelves right here, and you have this floor-to-ceiling large porcelain slab, your linear gas fireplace, additional storage space here with that same strip lighting, and check out all the glass in this area. You have these sliding glass Fleetwood doors all throughout this property, and look how large this open floor plan is in the seating space. You can have a lot of people here hanging out. You have recessed lighting and this entire property is wired for sound. You also have linear air conditioning vents. And here we are in your main dining area and you have two spaces here where you can mount any artwork and you have your contemporary sconces. And you have this unique marble and black chandelier above your dining space. And I love how they incorporated the wood and the moss in the staging. As I mentioned earlier, you have sliding glass doors. So you have a view to your courtyard and your front door, and you have the same shelf space, the frosted glass and linear light fixtures. And check out this beautiful porcelain slab right here. You can maybe display any artwork. And as I mentioned earlier, this house has some history. So these are the original house plans for Joanne Carson and Truman Capote, and I guess one, uh, Joanne lived in one wing of the house and Truman was in the other. So this is special, has some history, I have to be gentle with that. So let's head underneath the archways. We'll get to the kitchen in a minute. And here is that exterior patio space I mentioned earlier in the courtyard. You have the same sliding glass doors and you have plenty of privacy from your neighbors and greenery. Maybe this is where you come out, enjoy some cigars. And here is that same natural Italian wood we have been seeing. You have shelves and strip lighting, maybe that's where you put your cigars or additional bar space on the way to your other bedrooms. And you have plenty of Kiko matte lacquer storage space here. These aren't just your regular cabinets and closets. You have custom drawers and areas to hang any clothes or any coats and plenty of shelving. So let's head into another bedroom. And over here to my left, you have a bathroom. You have porcelain tile on the floor and the wall, and all the tiling in this house is by Porcelanosa. You have a regular and handheld polished chrome shower head, and you have the same Italian wood floating vanity with Korean countertops, and you have the same floating mirror effect on this tiled wall. And in all the bathrooms, this is my favorite tiling, very unique. And this bedroom has great lighting. You have a view of your backyard and the neighborhood. You have a space here to maybe put a desk or any artwork. And you have these same sliding glass doors. And every bedroom in this house has their own sliding glass doors that lead to the backyard. So let's come over here to what is staged as your workout space. And imagine you're getting your sweat on and you just head outside, maybe do some laps in the pool, cool down. Here are some mirrors to really open up that space more storage, and here in your bathroom, you have beautiful porcelain tile, contrasting colors on the floor and in the shower. You have the same floating vanity and mirror effect. And this is Mark's favorite tile in all the bathrooms. And Mark is one of my cameramen. So I just want to give him a shout out. I know I've been talking some smack to him during this video. <laughs> so this space can also be your office or children's playroom and we'll come through here into your primary suite. You have a floor to ceiling marble gas fireplace. You can mount your TV here. You also have this white oak wood paneling behind your bed. And this house has Veneto Luce light fixtures all throughout. And over here, you can maybe enjoy some wine or a drink because you have a dry bar in your primary suite. You have black quartz in European oak. And over here, you also have a sliding glass door that leads to your side front courtyard area. And you also have this unique wallpaper design throughout this primary suite. And over here to my right, you have your walk-in closet. 
with glass cabinets, an area to hang your clothes, and this is all walnut wood all throughout. You have strip lighting, shelves. Here's your water closet behind this frosted glass. You also have porcelain tile on the floors and on the walls. You have a view to your side yard, your lush greenery right here, and a freestanding tub with your floor mounted faucet. And check out the size of the shower. You also have the Brizo shower heads. You have a rainfall shower head and two separate shower heads with bench seating. You have your floating vanity with the Corian countertops, two vessel sinks with that unique drain, the seamless drain design, and the walnut soft closed drawers, and the same floating mirror effect that is backlit with your wall mounted Briso water fixtures. So let's head out of your primary suite through your sliding glass Fleetwood doors into your backyard. Out here you have pour in place concrete and artificial grass. You also have a wall and mature trees over here to my right for any privacy from the neighbors. You have bench seating and one fire pit over there. This is also south, so you have east right here and west, so there is consistent light throughout this backyard all throughout the day. You have a spa and a Baja shelf right here and a plaster and glass tile pool. Your tanning area and check out all of that glass. And look at this exterior dining area beneath this trellis design and this is very unique you have some interesting light fixtures here and i'm kind of curious on how they ran the electrical but check out all this glass space you also have space here that's large enough for maybe two tables or an even larger table over here to my left you have your bar space you can fit five stools you have granite countertops you have a stainless steel grill and beverage fridge and we'll get to that section a little bit but let's head back inside into the kitchen area so let's head into your kitchen area through your fleetwood sliding glass doors and you have an area over here to my left where you can display any artwork put any plants and you have a view to your pool you have this beautiful quartzite island with the same stained wood oak that we have seen previously in the house you also have a prep stainless steel sink here, so you have an area where you can chop any vegetables, dry any dishes or any vegetables in an area for any food storage. And you have this intricate water fixture here, and Mark <laughs> appreciated this earlier. You have filtered hot and cold water. So you have plenty of storage space up here and counter space here. You also have this Mila downdraft ventilation system that I, we have seen in our previous tour video. I'll put a link. And you also have a five burner countertop right here. And you have push to open fridge and freezer and beverage fridge. You also have this cove ceiling design with the cove lighting, recessed lighting. And you have four intricate glass fixtures attached to it. And over here, Right next to the dining space, you have a prep kitchen. You have the same countertops, the same wood, stainless steel sink, and your range with a five burner top, and this additional storage space, custom chemistry, and your lazy Susan for any spices. So let's head out here, past your kitchen, where you have additional space and storage area, and you can fit four stools here at your bar seating, two over here, and this is a very large open floor plan, ample amounts of sunlight all throughout, and you have those same Fleetwood sliding glass doors. So let's head outside to an additional fire pit area. And out here, you have more speakers for music and recessed lighting. You also have another fire pit lounge area here right next to your fountain. And again, this is south, so ample amounts of sunlight all throughout this backyard and you have easy access to Sunset Boulevard, yet there's still a lot of privacy from any neighbors or the public. Over here, along your beautiful landscaping and pour in place concrete, you have more artificial grass. And this is that seating area that I mentioned earlier in the first two bedrooms. Maybe you can come out here, have another lounge space, add a chair, some tables. And let's come up here to your rooftop deck, up your glass staircase. And here we are on your rooftop deck where you have nearly 360 degree views of the neighborhood. And this is one of the many entertainment spots of the house. You have another stainless steel grill and beverage fridge and granite bar space. 
Four stools, it looks like you might be able to fit five. And imagine just coming up here, enjoying the view, maybe watching the fireworks on the 4th of July. You can come up here and dine at a larger table or maybe even two tables. And this area is wired for sound. You can sit here and enjoy your backyard and the pool through the trellis design and more of those views. So you come up here, throw a fire pit, or just hang out. So that concludes our tour. We appreciate any comments, likes or subscribes, and I love reading your comments, so keep it up. And again, I'm Sierra Shots, and thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.